So uh, I, you say the system. When you say the word the system. Oh, Lord, here we go. Here we go. Conspiracy Matt here comes, comes out. Conspiracy yes, Matt. Because they want us dumb and they want us in debt because that's how you control people. You control the narrative. Why right. do you think so everything is so politically correct right now, right? I, yes. I mentioned this before. You can't say anything to upset anybody. You can't hurt anybody's feelings because they'll go on Twitter and Facebook and badmouth you, and then all of a sudden you're out of a job, right? right? So we have to watch it. Yeah. You know, but. Why do people have to watch what they say so much? Because they can lose their method of making a living yeah. if, the, if somebody gets mad at them. They get canceled, so to speak, right? Yeah. Now, well, I'm leveraged. Look, me, fire me, whatever. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm going to be fine. Right. But imagine if everybody was in that. How different would conversations be? Everybody could just speak their mind on everything, and everybody would be honest. And I think people would get along a lot better. I think so too. Well, I'm, I'm, I tend to be one to speak my mind anyway. You do, and I like that. And and it's and I, I'm sure I tick a lot of people off. I'm not politically not correct. Enough. You should, you should piss off some more people. Do we it's need fun. to tick? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try to step this up then and yeah. piss off more people. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're so proud right I, now. Oh, <laughs> I've never been more proud. But, but we, you know, with that, it's because people do they sugarcoat it. They don't talk about it, but they don't talk about it. No one know. I don't know how much. I knew how much debt my clients were in because I was helping them with that. Mm -hmm. And I would say my closest friends, like my little circle, we talk about that. Mm -hmm. But you tend to gravitate towards people like you. Mm -hmm. You know, we were having conversations yesterday with a friend about paying off houses and doing mm -hmm. stuff like that. And that's because that's what you talk about. So mm -hmm. you pull like people in. But it is, we have to take ownership for it. So if people aren't sitting in there and really realistically look, and I think, I think you should out yourself. I think people need to say, look, here's what I'm working on. And I've done that. My, my girlfriend, Jess, and I've done that before. We're like, okay, you know, but we're both divorced. After our divorces, we're like, all right, here's my situation. Here's what we're working on. And we just kind of held each other accountable and knew where yeah. everybody was, right? Can I ask you guys a question? Of um, course. So do you guys think truth is effective? Truth? Do we think truth is effective? Like in with dealing with people? Yeah, because a lot of people don't want to be honest with themselves. Oh, I, I think truth is wonderful. And I do too. That's a great question. Because you know who was always true in the family? Your grandfather. He was always true. Yep. And, and some of the kids would be like, well, he's grumpy today. No, he's being honest. Yep. And if you're being bad, he'll mm -hmm. tell you. Whereas grandma, she's sweet. And everybody likes grandma. She might not tell you because she yes. doesn't want to upset you. Yep. But grandpa will tell you about your butt, right? Yes. Yep. And, and that's where I think we're lacking truth, I think. People but, don't want to hear it. People don't want to say it. It's like, oh, we're all just getting along and we're all just, it's so fake. Yeah. We're just but bouncing everything, through that's life. That's the keeping up with the Joneses thing. It's like everybody, they're just trying to present an, and I'm guilty of this. I've been, I mean, all of us are to an extent, right? But I'll call, I'll call myself out more than I call anybody else out. I think truth is critical, but we're, I mean, I don't know how to get people to do that because the people tend to be the people telling the truth are the ones that are. The end zones, the opposite ends of the spectrum. They're just kind of yelling at everybody. Well, I mean, there's, yeah, there's, there's truth. And then there's people who are just loud mouths, you know, that's true. But, but you got to take, you know, you got to take the bad with the good. But how do we get people to be more truth about truthful, I guess, about debt? I don't know, because I think a lot of parents don't want to talk about it to their kids because the parents themselves, here's one. This is, this is what needs to happen. The parents are probably ashamed of some of the decisions they made along the way, right? Yep. And they're saying, man, I really don't want to expose that to my kids. My right. kids, they look up to me. Yeah. I'm their parent. You know, we don't always see eye to eye, but I don't, I don't want to let my kids know that I made these bad decisions. And I think we need to just shatter that. That needs to go. Yeah. If you made bad decisions along the way, it's almost like you owe that to your kids Mm -hmm. To tell, even if you don't tell anybody else, you owe that to your kids so that they don't do it. I, I, it blows my mind because all of us, we just want our kids to have it better than we had it.